back everybody here we go another palette another day this is palette number two out of the six that I would buy guaranteed that's why if you watch my other episodes I got the free palette you know what a little smaller than normal I'm kind of hoping the, the the products are worth a bit more to make up for it but you know what until we take a look let's see what we have so let's gonna start with uh, let's start with some of the smaller stuff I have in front get this out of the way we have a OctiDG sticker, I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. I've had this before though, uh, basically it's to refresh countertops. It's just a self-adhesive sticker that goes over your countertop. That way, uh, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, easy solution. Uh, we have a lock, quick set, smart key. Nice lock. I'll have to double check. Just make sure everything's in there. Something hasn't fallen out. You get some of those smaller pieces. And, you know, we'll do that. What do we have here? What is this? Deluxe transfer board. Helps aid safe patient transfer from wheelchair, bed, chair, or commode. Okay. Ah, don't think that'll be a very good sell, but you never know. Um, and this here, this one. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, this is heavy. Heavy. What do we have? Welding wire. Mild steel welding wire. Hmm. 10 pound. Well, there you go, welders. Ah, haven't had that before. Do we have bolt, bolt cutters. Oh, okay. A pair of bolt cutters. Let's see? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. <clears throat> A nice pair, nice brand new pair of bolt cutters, anyhow. Huh. All right. I'm sure bolt cutters that'll be an easy sell. You know, I'll have to see what they're worth. I mean, put them cheap enough, anybody will buy that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see what we have here. This is just a return box, so it's a mystery box. We all like mystery boxes sometimes, not all the time. One of those, uh, I think it's damaged anyhow, by the looks of it. Or it's just a bad, yeah, it's a little bit. Whoever did it for some reason, so it's a, a picture of the print. A little funky up here. You got a little funky white line. Um, it is, I guess it's a three set. So there's the other one. And Oh, two more. So I guess you put all four together and it makes a, it makes a picture. Seems to be in really good shape. It's all brand new. It's just that one. That one has a little white line on it at the top. Maybe that's why somebody had sent it back. But, eh, you know what? Somebody will pick that up. It's amazing uh, some of the prices they get for this stuff, too. I mean, I wouldn't pay it, but... Uh, the full price, anyhow. Let me put this over here. Okay, let's see what we have. What is this? 18-inch miter gauge fence system. Uh, okay. Um, for your saw. So anybody that has a table saw... I mean, this comes with the table saw. I don't know why they would be selling it separately. Um, oops, don't want to lose anything here. Let it come out of there. Yeah. So, it's really nice though. It's a really nice set. So, 18 inch miter gauge fence. It's all, it's all new. There's your measuring tape. There you go. Um, goes on there. Okay, I mean, well, it's it's brand new. Have to see what it's worth. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how hard that's going to be to sell. Like I say, most most saws come with all that stuff. So um, not unless I guess if you buy a cheaper saw and you want to upgrade to a better quality, that could be a, that could be a possibility. Um, we have. 
Do, do, do. Can I see? Can I see anywhere? What do we have here? Six inch diameter auger bit, 30 inches long. Okay, so we have a, an auger bit, six inch diameter. Okay, there we go. So, okay. So, here we go. We have a nice auger bit. Uh, I guess if you have the machine to put it on, take that off. And uh, yeah, that's got a heavy duty drill bit there. So I'm not sure if this would work for ice as well as soil or what it's actually made for, or if it's made for both. Have to dig into that to see exactly. If it's for ice fishers, I mean, kind of missed that boat, no, no big deal, but somebody could be putting that on for six inch diameter. No, it wouldn't be wide enough. I was gonna say fence poles, but that wouldn't work at six inch. So, but nonetheless, good find. Uh, Hamfa, dark brown. Okay, boys and girls, we got uh, we have somebody that obviously had their they've used it and it, uh, tore it right off the wall and sent it back. Okay, um, well, we're gonna have to say uh, that's a bust. Get rid of this. Because you know the value of that is zero. Let's get rid of this junk. Ah. Okay, what is these? GSG, Oceana, Hard Rock Glass. Not mistaking. Uh, there was one open, I took a peek at it. I have two of these. They are sinks. I'm not sure if they're bathroom sink, kitchen sink. Uh, let's, uh, we'll take a look at it. Like I said, one was propped open, but I haven't looked at it yet. So let's just get this out of the way. And we'll take a look at this one. Okay, so here's the cutout. Undermount cutout. Template for pebble undermount installation. And I think this goes both ways. I was reading. Uh, drop in lavatory pebble undermount or drop so under it's uh, undermount or drop in both ways lavatory bathroom there you go so which is good is because you can you can either drop it in or undermount it oh wow this is nice um, I like this it's a that's a nice sink um, hmm just uh, have two, just have to try and find a renovator uh, or somebody that's redoing their, their bathrooms right now. It's good that I have two for the people that have the, the double sinks in the bathrooms. It actually works out perfect. So let's see, we'll have to see what they're worth and uh, see if we can get some money from them. I know stuff like this is generally not that cheap. Uh, so I'm going to have to say there's probably a good dollar here. It's just a matter of uh, products like this I've noticed with mirrors that I've, re I've received in some of these pallets. It's just a, it's, a, it's a time game, just waiting for the right person to come along and actually uh, purchase something like this. So I'm going to put this down. That's a good find. Two of those. Okay. I have seen these, I've gotten these in the past, Sanlita, Stand Mixer, it's uh, these ones here I really like, they're nine and a half quart, which are super big bowls. Uh, most people have, uh, if you notice the brand name, like KitchenAid, they are roughly four and a half to six and a half quart. These are nine and a half quart, and they have a really good powerful motor in them. So this is a brand that unfortunately goes unrecognized, but the quality is absolutely fantastic. So that's there. That's just your, by the size, it's just a, a normal one, probably just has your normal attachments, your whisk, your, your dough, thread, mixer, whatever. Uh, bed assistant bar, okay. All right, pretty self-explanatory. All right.
just looking at the feet, the rubber doesn't look like it has any wear on it. So that I'm going to have to say, if there's no wear on the rubber feet, that's generally a, a signal if the product is new or not. So there we go. I'll take a better look at that. Again, you're not talking a lot of money. They usually retail for around, eh, give or take, $60 to $70. Uh, you know what? For somebody that can use it, it's worth a million dollars. So, let's see. Garden Bird Bath. Viva Home. It's actually really light. Okay. So, it's plastic. Uh, it's all there, nicely packaged. It's actually, I like, I like the color. Kind of a, a greenish black. So, you know what? It's one of those decorative, uh, decorative pieces. Not going to be worth uh, too much money being made out of uh, heavy duty plastic as opposed to being made out of cast iron, but nonetheless, you know what? Somebody always picks these up because you put them on for a good price. Sorry if I'm moving a little funny. I kind of pulled a muscle in my neck. So if you wonder why I'm kind of doing this, that's why. So I saw this bringing it off the truck. Same thing. It's another mixer. This is actually a six in one mixer as opposed to one box being uh, double the size of the other one. Uh, same thing, nine and a half quart. It has the, all the attachments, your, um, your pasta attachment, your, your juicer attachment, your meat grinder, everything that you can get, uh, say, on a KitchenAid attachments that you find. They all come in one, all ready to go. So that is another excellent point. They are a little tougher to sell, um, I find mixers are. Is uh, um, you go on marketplace anywhere online, everybody's selling their, their your used kitchen aid or they got it for their wedding gift or something like that. A lot of people they buy these and then they use them a couple times, then they realize that uh, it just takes up too much room or they're heavy. Uh, these ones actually aren't too bad. I do have a kitchen aid personally and it is heavy. So if you're just doing a small batch of something, or if you're only doing one cake, people don't want to bring that out. It's just too much work. They rather just get the hand beaters out, and uh, they don't use these. These are these are good for people that uh, like to bake uh, all the time, or or people that are actually doing it for a small home online business or something. They're fantastic. But other than that, I'm happy with those. What do we have? A little beat up this box. Hopefully, whatever it is, it's not broken. Kayak, kayak paddle. Okay. Again, kayak paddle is always, uh, it's always good. I mean, I don't know when you buy uh, a kayak if you get the paddle with it. I would assume you would. Um, maybe, it, maybe you don't. I don't know. Okay. So there you go. It's all. Oh, there. Oh. Go oh, down a little instruction thing or whatever. Take a look. There you go. This is brand spanking new kayak paddle. A little rubber. That's just for being in the box a little bit. So okay. Wow. So I guess you just put them together. Goes in the hole. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. These are nice, really nice. Hmm. Again, I, I don't know, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what the demand for a kayak paddle would be, but if it's there, guess what? I have one. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, I'll take that. Every day of the week. I wish I, uh, I wish I got the kayak to go with it. Okay, uh, this one here popped open. This was a box in a box. Pro style bonnet dryer. Okay. Um, I didn't even know they need these still. Um, be honest with you. 
Pro Style Bonnet Dryer. That's the old style, salon style. People used to go in and uh, you would sit underneath the dryer here. Wow, who knew? Um, I'll check that out. I don't know how much of a market is for something like that. I don't think the younger generation use them, but you know, I'm not a I'm not a woman, so I don't know. Maybe maybe they're used a lot more than I think they are. I'm hoping they are. Other than that, I could be uh, sitting on it for a while. <laughs> so, pro style hair bonnet. Wow. Okay. And again, it wasn't a very big palette, but. I did get some higher priced items. Again, for this mixer here, I can tell you right now, it's going to be two and change. The six and one, I've seen go up to uh, $500, $600. Uh, I'm not sure on the welding wire. Uh, the auger bit, I know it would have to be, no, I'd probably be under $100. The sinks, um, I don't know that brand particularly. Uh, I do know glass pebbled sinks like that, they can range anywhere from $250 to about $450 each. So I know there's a lot of value there, it's just a matter of finding the right person that's willing to buy it. Obviously that was garbage. Kayak paddle, not sure what a kayak paddle is worth. Uh, again, I would have to say it's, it's, you would think it'd be worth at least $60-$70. Uh, the bird bath, the decorative, peanuts, the painting peanuts, but I do. I have this, I had saw one product actually, which made me buy this palette. Again, it wasn't a big palette, but I bought it for this. Here we go, look at this. Aqua Spirit, that's the one right there. You know what that is? It is an inflatable paddle board. Absolutely beautiful, I'll take it out. Hopefully everything is all good with it. There's no leaks, no rips. It's in really good condition. It is 10 and a half feet by 33 inches in width, six inches thick. These here, no matter what, used even, are selling used right now online for at least $400 used. So I'm really not too concerned if it's new or used, but the, the downfall about it, I'm keeping it for myself. Again, I know I shouldn't. It's a, it's a good bulk of what I paid for the palette or you know a portion of it. But you know, I've always wanted one of these. And I'll be honest with you, I just didn't want to spend the money when I was looking. They were anywhere from around six hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on the brand that you you actually purchased. So I'm keeping that. Hopefully it's all A-OK. -okay. Other than that, we're done. It was a little smaller. I did get some really good products. It's just a little tough sell on some of them, but you gotta make do. Until next time, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.